Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In 1963, the United States Air Force initiated the search for a jet-powered replacement for the aging, turboprop-driven C-133 Cargo Master, which was approaching the end of its service life. This effort prompted a thorough evaluation of multiple large-scale strategic airlift concepts. The construction of the first C-5A Galaxy prototype began in August 1966, marking a major milestone in the evolution of strategic airlift. The prototype made its public debut on March 2nd. 1968, at Lockheed's Marietta plant near Dobbins Air Force Base in Georgia. The C-5 Galaxy's innovative design redefined global airlift capabilities. The beautiful thing about this C-5M behind us is that one day it can deliver combat air power such as Apache helicopters as it's delivering here for us today and the next day it could be delivering humanitarian airlift around the world. One of these aircraft, or one very similar to it, about every two and a half to three minutes takes off or lands worldwide. That's a tremendous capability that we bring to our partners. We're very proud of it. Featuring a forward hinged nose visor and rear clamshell doors, the aircraft enables drive through loading using full width ramps at both ends. This unique layout allows for versatile cargo configurations, including 36 fully loaded 463L pallets, two M1A1 Abrams tanks, or up to seven UH-1 Huey helicopters. With its integrated internal winches and roller conveyor system, the C-5 streamlined cargo handling like never before. Though primarily used for transporting oversized equipment, the aircraft can also carry personnel when needed, typically in emergencies or special missions as authorized by Headquarters Air Mobility Command AMC. The C-5 Galaxy's exceptional takeoff and flight performance is a direct result of advanced engineering and aerodynamic innovation. Central to this capability are its four general electric TF-39GA1 C turbofan engines, each producing an impressive 41,000 pounds of thrust. Among the first high-bypass turbofans used in military aviation, these engines deliver both immense power and improved fuel efficiency, making them well-suited for lifting the galaxy's massive payloads. Equally vital to its performance are the aircraft's long, swept wings and its distinctive T-tail configuration. The T-tail enhances aerodynamic efficiency by placing the horizontal stabilizer above the turbulence generated by the wings and engines. By optimizing airflow and stabilizing control surfaces, the T-tail contributes to a more stable, efficient flight profile, particularly at high angles of attack during takeoff and landing. Beyond its powerful engines and aerodynamic refinements, the C-5 Galaxy incorporates a host of engineering innovations that elevate its status. As one of the most capable strategic airlifters ever built, 
measuring an astonishing 222 feet 9 inches in length and supporting a maximum takeoff weight of 840,000 pounds, the C-5 stands as a monumental achievement in military aviation. A key feature contributing to its operational flexibility is the use of reverse thrust, which not only aids in braking during landings, but also allows the aircraft to taxi backward under its own power. A highly unusual capability for an aircraft of its size. The landing gear system of the C-5 is equally remarkable. Comprising 28 wheels, a single nose strut, and four main landing gear bogies, it is engineered for high flotation. Each gear assembly features free wheel casting for smoother ground handling. Moreover, the landing gear can be independently raised simplifying maintenance tasks such as tire changes and brake inspections. Together, these systems provide the C5 with unparalleled global reach, allowing it to take off and land in a wide variety of environments. making it a truly versatile and indispensable asset in global air mobility operations. Enhancing its logistical flexibility, the C-5's landing gear includes a three-position kneeling system. This unique feature allows the cargo floor to be lowered to truck bed height facilitating the loading of outsized or long wheel-based equipment by reducing the ramp angle in critical areas. In terms of navigation and communication, the C5 Galaxy is equipped with state-of-the-art avionics. Yep, that's 83 miles, turn back. Got about 800 too much. The aircraft features a triple inertial navigation system, greatly enhancing its self-sufficiency and operational independence. Now we wait. Dispatch, Fred 2-2. Two -two. Fred 2-2, two -two, dispatch. This system allows the C-5 to perform effectively without relying on ground-based navigational aids. Another remarkable aspect of the C-5 Galaxy is its impressive short takeoff and landing capabilities, even when fully loaded. The aircraft, demonstrating exceptional agility for its size, requires only 8,300 feet for takeoff and 4,900 feet for landing when at its maximum weight of 840,000 pounds. As the first to transport aircraft to integrate this feature as an original design aspect, the C-5 Galaxy can theoretically remain airborne indefinitely, limited only by crew endurance. This ability is a strategic game changer, allowing the aircraft to cover vast distances without the need for landing to refuel. To address the limitations of crew fatigue, long flights often include relief crews, ensuring continuous and efficient operation. The combination of these features, short takeoff and landing distances, along with the capacity for aerial refueling, cements the C-5 Galaxy's status as a logistical powerhouse. 
capable of delivering cargo and support across the globe without the constraints of traditional refueling stops. The tactical and strategic capabilities of the Galaxy, but in a smaller package, are also found in other aircraft developed by various companies. The necessity to supply the growing requirements of militaries around the world has led Airbus to design, develop, and manufacture the four-engine turboprop cargo plane known as the A400M Atlas. This aircraft, a larger version of the C-130, is used for cargo transportation, in addition to performing aerial refueling and medical evacuation. This aircraft has been the answer to the needs of modern aviation. This is why its capabilities are shown in large international military events and exercises such as Mobility Guardian. In this type of event, different countries demonstrate their technical skills and the potential of their equipment and vehicles, such as the Atlas. This represents some really excellent training for my guys, for my pilots, my crewmen and, and my engineers as well. It's a real opportunity to test our logistics system as well because we're out here in the United States and obviously the logistics setup is based back in the UK, so we're testing that. But also it's an opportunity to work with our uh, partners from around the world. Its manufacturing by Airbus is a complex process that requires the collaboration of several facilities around Europe. Everything starts in the Bremen factory, where the fuselage is assembled and the sections 13 to 18 are joined together. Here, the engineers and technicians apply their knowledge of composite materials to integrate the components including the cargo door and the ramp. This place is also in charge of applying a coating to protect the aircraft surface, as well as testing all the hydraulic systems of the entry points. Other facilities, such as the Nantes site in France, focus on components beyond the fuselage of the plane. The people in this factory specialize in manufacturing and assembling the center wing boxes, which are crucial components that give strength to the wings, being capable of supporting nearly 1,500 tons during the flight. The engineers are also responsible for manufacturing and installing the radar and measuring systems of the plane known as radome, which form part of the aircraft avionics. In places like the Tablada Center in Spain, digitalization on the assembly line allows an efficient environment where each working cell can collaborate almost instantly. Near the Tablada Center is located the San Pablo site, home to the Military Transport Activities final assembly line. At this place, the sub-assemblies from the different facilities are delivered by cargo truck or a Beluga cargo airlifter. As all the components arrive at the assembly line, the workers start the process by installing the engine pylons to the wings while a separate team checks for wing fuel leakages. 
the nose section and the fuselage are integrated further, and components like the horizontal and vertical tailplanes are aligned using digital tools. Systems like data acquisition and data processing devices are used when inspecting every step of the assembly. Once the components are joined and the avionics are connected throughout the fuselage, the engineers install the four engines and the APU system. The plane is then painted in three steps, including masking, painting, and livery application. Finally, the plane is ready for its maiden flight, where the aircraft can show its potential and capabilities. From its groundbreaking origins in the 1960s to its continued service today, the C-5 Galaxy remains one of the most iconic and capable military transport aircraft in history. Meanwhile, platforms like the Airbus A400M Atlas reflect the global demand for flexible, multi-role airlifters capable of supporting modern joint operations. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.